You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Let's continue our Olympic coverage as we're getting oh so close to that uh, right here with a member of the UK swim team who's headed to Tokyo but competing for New Zealand. That's right. I had the chance to catch up with Ali Gallier earlier this week. First of all, what's it like to hear Olympian next to your name? It's actually kind of surreal because every athlete that, that starts in any sport when they're young, you know, you, you watch the Olympics and you and you do these or watch these things every four years and you're like, oh, that'd be so cool to do. I was never the person to be like, I'm going to be an Olympian. And it kind of just evolved. And um, I went to Kentucky and I progressed very well there. And I think like hearing that, I don't think it, it really like connects yet, I guess. So it might take a little while to, um, to, to get to that point. But I, a lot of people have been like, are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you like, you're an Olympian, you're a celebrity, like whatever. And I'm like, I, I don't know if like, I would go that far, but like, it's definitely cool to, to live out a dream that I've wanted for so long. Um, and having COVID and it being a year long extra year, I guess you could say, um, is definitely the, we played the waiting game, but it's definitely um, fun that it's just right around the corner. And you'll actually be representing New Zealand, but you're from South Carolina. Tell us more about that connection that has led you to compete for New Zealand. Yeah, so I have a very interesting background. I'm I'm from everywhere is what I tell people when I first meet them. Um, so my dad was originally from New Zealand, which is where I got my New Zealand citizenship. And I actually have four citizenships, so I was my mom is originally from Canada. My dad was born in New Zealand, grew up there. Um, me and my sister were actually both born in Australia. And so we spent the first three to four years of my life in Australia. And then we moved um, to the States in 2001, which is where like, I basically grew up like talking to everyone here. I'm like, I'm from South Carolina, but yeah. So it's definitely um, a great conversation starter for anyone that doesn't know me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing. Girl, you're your own United Nations over there. You've seen exactly. everywhere. Exactly. I got to know, how proud is your dad that you're competing for his home country? She is absolutely ecstatic. Like, he um, never really thought. So my sister swam at University of Kentucky as well. She um, is three years older than me. So being able to to see both of your kids. She never swam um, internationally for New Zealand, but just being able to see both of your kids live out what they've worked so hard for. I think both my parents are, are super, super proud. But um, when I, I competed at world championships in 2019 and, and being it like coming back and having all of the New Zealand gear and things like that. And like having the silver fern, it was just like, such a surreal experience for him just to see that something that I've wanted to do for so long has finally become reality. Um, I think proud is probably the best word for it, but you can definitely tell he has that cheeky smile every time we talk about it. So that's cool. You were an all American here in Kentucky. How did your time at UK prepare you for this moment? Oh my gosh. So like countless amounts of things. I mean, coming in my freshman year, 18 years old, nervous, you know, like, I was grateful I had my sister there. She was a senior at the time. So I got to spend one year training with her. We do the exact same event. So um, her being able to to tell me the little things that would help me get through, um, being able to, to balance the student athlete life with the academic life was something that not a lot of people tell you how to do, but you kind of um, get in, in a, sense of like how how to do it um after a while and i don't know i think being the team aspect of it played a huge role in in preparing me for international meets um the sec sec championships and nc2a championships doesn't seem like that big of like um nerve-wracking or or because it's not necessarily nationally televised or world televised or whatever but the nerves i've experienced at world championships and pan pacific championships like international meets are the exact same so i think that really helped me 
knowing that behind the blocks I've been in that situation. I've done it multiple times. I've had a team behind me. Like just knowing the support system that you have at Kentucky is such a huge weight lifted off your shoulders that you're not doing it by yourself. And that goes all the way up from Mitch Barnhart to Nathan Schwaki to all the coaches and then all the way down to the athletes. It's a trickle down effect. And I think Kentucky athletics has done a, such a, such an amazing job in that aspect. Good luck to Allie. And if you miss any of our Olympic preview coverage, you can head on over to bbntonight.com to get all caught up before the games begin later this month. We'll have more BBN Tonight next.